the second graders, segundo grado. So today we're finished with the first part of greetings, which was buenos dias, buenas tardes, buenas noches. Let's just practice that really quick. Ready? Buenos dias, buenas tardes, buenas noches. A little bit slower. Buenos dias, buenas tardes, buenas noches. A little bit faster. Buenos dias, buenas tardes, buenas noches. A little bit slower, slow motion. Buenos dias, buenas tardes, buenas noches. Super fast. Buenos dias, buenas tardes, buenas noches. Okay, now we're starting with the next question you would normally ask, which is, ¿Cómo estás? Everybody go like this in your hands, say, ¿Cómo estás? Use my hands. ¿Cómo estás? Good. Now, if you want to say you're having a good day, you say, muy bien. Give me two thumbs up. Say, muy bien. If you want to say you're having a so-so day, you say, así, así. And if you're having a bad day, say, mal. Okay, let's practice. Ready? Como estas? That means, how are you? Muy bien. Así, así. Regu uh, mal. Sorry. <laughs> mal. Again, ¿cómo estás? Muy bien. Así, así. Mal. Let's keep going. Repeat after me. ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien. Así, así. Mal. Okay. So, um, let's ask Dino. Dino, ¿cómo estás? Oh, Dino said, mal. What happened? Oh, his tummy doesn't feel good. How about you? ¿Cómo estás? <laughs> Hopefully muy bien. Okay, so I want you to take a blank piece of paper, any blank piece of paper, okay? And so you can go to your computer and just get out a blank paper, okay? And at the top of your paper, I want you to write, ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? That means, how are you? ¿Cómo estás? And a lot of kids ask me, what is this thing right here in front of the C? Is that like a J or something? No, that's actually an upside down question mark. Because in Spanish, when you have a question mark at the end of the sentence, you have to put one at the beginning of the, the sentence, but it has to be upside down. Okay? So it says, ¿Cómo estás? So you're going to write that on your paper. So everybody, pause the video. Go get a blank piece of paper and write, ¿Cómo estás? Okay. Now, I want you to draw a really happy emoji face. This kid just got an A plus on his quiz and had the best breakfast in a long time and... He's very happy, okay? And then I want you to write muy bien. Muy bien. Okay, so everybody take a minute. You can pause the video if you need to. You're gonna draw a really happy face and write muy bien. So we have como estas? Muy bien. Okay, now, on your blank piece of paper, you should have it written como estas and muy bien. Now, I want you to draw a so-so face. Okay, so this kid's not having a great day, not having a bad day. He's just so-so. Um, and I want you to write, I see, I see, I see, I see like that. It has a little accent mark over the I. And that's just the letter you say the loudest. So, así, así. Okay. So, we have, ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien. Así, así. I'm going to give you another minute to finish drawing that face. And then we're going to go on to not nah, such a good day. Okay. Ready? All right. And the third face I want you to draw is a not happy face. Maybe you're like 
Dino, who just doesn't feel good today. So Dino, we asked him, ¿Cómo estás? And Dino said, mal. Everybody say mal. Now, there used to be this movie out called Descendants. And the main character in that movie on Disney Channel was called Mal. And her name in Spanish would have been Mal, right? So you know how if someone's name is Isabella in English, I call them Isabella? Because that's their Spanish name. So Mal's name in Spanish would be Mal. And that actually means bad. And if you remember, she was rotten to the core in the beginning of the movie. So um, so that's a good way to remember that Mal means bad. Okay, and I know some kids were telling me that in Creole, that they speak in Haiti, that Mal also means bad. So that's good. So you, you can associate that with multiple languages. Okay. So, let's go over these one more time. We have, ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien. Así, así. Mal. Again, ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien. Así, así. Mal. Okay, now we're going to play a little charades game. Okay? Normally, we would play this in the classroom, and the first person to get it correct would win. But this time, if you get it correct, you're just going to give yourself a point. All right? I'm going to say either, ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien. Así, así. Or, Mal. And then you're going to um, do the correct hand movement, okay? Now, if you get a correct, give yourself a point. We're going to try to get 10 puntos, 10 points. Now, if we were back in our classroom, which we will be next year, hopefully, um, then it would be the first person to get a correct gets to come up and do the next one. But this time, we're going we're gonna to play a little differently, a little modification, okay? All right. So I'm going to say either, ¿Cómo estás? If I say, ¿Cómo estás? You have to go like this. If I say, Muy bien, you have to go like this. If I say, así, así, you have to go like this. And if I say, mal, you have to go like that. Okay? And we're trying to get 10 puntos. So if you get one right, give yourself a point. Okay. Here we go. Ready? Así, así. Give yourself a point if you're going like this. All right. Next. Mal, mal. Otro punto, if you're going like this. Debes tener dos puntos. Okay. ¿Cómo estás? You should be going like this. Give yourself a point if you're going like this. Tal vez tienes tres puntos. Okay. Muy bien. Give yourself a point if you're going like this. Cuatro puntos. Okay. ¿Cómo estás? <laughs> Give yourself a point if you're going like this. Otro punto. You should have cinco puntos if you got them all right so far. We're going to try to get cinco más. Ready? Mal. Give yourself a point if you're going like this. Así, así. Give yourself a point if you're going like this. Muy bien. Otro punto if you're going like that. ¿Cómo estás? Give yourself a point if you're going like that. Mal. Otro punto if you're going like that. That's 10 puntos if you got them all right. Give me your high tension.